wondering what to do with all those papers coming home in the kids' backpacks, Sammy Cohn has some creative ideas for just that. And yeah, school year is already a couple of weeks old, but stuff is coming in That's right, right now. And then you think, what do I do? I still haven't gotten rid of all the other stuff from last That's school right. year. Sinbad actually said just throw it all away uh -huh. when he was here. That was his <laughs> advice. So I don't know if I need to do the segment still. Uh -huh. But yeah, we've got four easy ideas, of course, cheap and okay. creative for any parent or grandparent. And you'll see you can use this not only for school papers, but also any mementos, recipes, things like that. It's a foolproof system. All right, fantastic. Okay. So start us off on the end here. So we're gonna go from easiest to a little more complicated, right? So the easiest is just get some sort of a filing system. Mm -hmm. So an accordion file, you know, you probably have this laying around an office of someone that you know. Yeah. And I've just divided these into, each of these is a different year. Okay. So different months. And what you wanna do is kind of sit on the papers. When your kids come home, have them put the papers into, you know, this file folder mm -hmm. and then sit on it a week because okay. chances are what seems important today might not be as important a week from now or a month from now right okay. and it's easier than to get rid it's, of exactly just don't throw it away in front of your kids that's the only <laughs> yes. rule right okay. so but at least get it so where it's contained mm -hmm. and then set aside maybe one day a month to go through it and say this is what is really important this is what's not so that's your bare bare minimum stuff. Okay, all okay? right, and then from that? From there, you can go with just a box like this. This is a craft box. I picked up a bunch of these on clearance for about 97 cents. You can usually get them for $3 mm -hmm. at a craft okay. store. And these are great if you want to just do like a yearly box yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, okay, and all right. Especially if maybe papers, we're gonna show you some creative things to do with the papers, but things like this, like a little, you know, booklet that my mm -hmm. son had made that might not fit as well in an album or you know the baseball cards or things like that okay. that again might slip out of an album this is great to keep those mementos birthday cards things like that so this is just kind of once you figured out what you want to keep mm -hmm. you could put it in this box put a year on it you're good to go. Now you can use some of this and put together a creative book, especially e even using the computer. Exactly. So you can get a, you know, a desktop scanner or even just use your phone to take pictures, mm -hmm. right? And what you do then is then you create it into a photo book, okay. right? So a lot of these, you know, different photo books here, I've got an example here where they'll have these sales, sometimes even free photo books, if I can pull this up. And the fun thing about this is that you can get, especially if it's like a Play-Doh or something that might not stand, but your kids yeah. want to take pictures of it. And you can get a picture of your child with it too. So you see how old they are mm -hmm. when they were writing that cursive or something like that. But again, do one of these per year and then you've got all of their artwork, but it's easily contained, okay. right? And then another way to could is these buckets. You've got the, the children's name on the front, but a great way to kind of store things. Exactly. I realized, you know, I just found a box that my parents had kept for me that really all of, I, everything boils down to one yeah. box, right? You're not going to keep a bunch of things. So uh -huh. if you can do something like this, um, there's another blogger that I saw that had done this. And so she had these labels that I've linked to on SammyCone.com where you can print them out, you yeah. can change the colors, but then you basically have one file per year of school. So okay. that's where you put a copy of the school picture, maybe, you know, their get to know me from the first day of school, a picture from the last day of school. Mm -hmm. And it becomes a nice memento that you can actually give to your kids or your grandkids as they graduate. And then they've got this one box that they can walk away with and have those memories forever. All right, fantastic. Great information there. And I will pass along something else that I got yeah. from uh, Ron House and his wife. Uh, some Christmas ideas mm -hmm. uh, that the kids had made at Christmas time through the years. Yeah. We've actually got them in our Christmas decorations and we hang some of them on the tree Sweet. every year. So we picked that up from Ron and Cindy Very a couple of years yeah, ago. Yeah, and you can do this. I even keep my Christmas cards this mm -hmm. way because I, all those photo cards that you yeah. get from people. So I do the same thing with those. So Fantastic. anyone can make use of this. As always, great information there. We will link you to SammyCone.com for much more fun ideas. Still to come.